When I was a little kid, yeah. I, was, uh, I was about five years old, and uh, I started getting the surgeries, you know, uh, over, and over and over again uh, for my ostomy. I, my mom and dad wasn't very educated about the illness, uh, but I couldn't go to bath, you know, and they took me to John Hopkins Hospital and they begin to operate on me and uh, then I begin to wear a bag. And I was getting bullied and teased in school and went through so I was spending a lot of time out of school and all that stuff. And uh, I kept the bag on for several years. Yeah. One of my uh, my number one records was, um, I won't be defeated, oh no. I won't give up now, cause I come too far to let my Problems get me down. Yeah. Uh, the new the new record is in the top ten right now, and it's called uh, "It Will Be All Right." It will be all right. God's gonna turn things around for me. It will be all right. It will be all right. You just wait, wait, wait. You'll see. A better take on uh, I won't be defeated. We're gonna erase this first take. Okay. I won't be defeated. Oh no, I won't give up now. Cause I come too far to let my problems get me down. And uh, whatever problems you're going through, whatever issues you may be dealing with. You won't be defeated. Just speak to yourself sometimes. We just have to speak to ourselves and encourage ourselves. We're going to have some good days, some bad days. But just encourage yourself. Say, hey, I won't be defeated. It will be all right. And just have the hope. And you can make it. I made it. I know you can too. Time and time, back and forth. And out the hospital. Got bullied. 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 And then in the ninth hour, we were about to mix and master the song. Something said, hey, tell that story that you went through when you were a kid that I sort of kind of shot away from. I told this story years later, and I was doing an interview in Louisville, Kentucky, and they played the song like a make it or break it. If the song is good, we'll play it. If it's not good, we won't play it. They played the song, the phones lit up. I didn't know that it was a setup. Uh, by God, I say. Um, there was a little kid, his name was Seven, and he was 10 years old. And he had a philosophy bag. And um, I didn't even know why I put this story there. I just said, I'm just going to tell a story that happened years ago. Told the story about myself, and this song played on the radio, and the phones lit up. And uh, come to find out that this little kid said his parents went to the grocery store. He had been getting bullied in school and all that good stuff. And he didn't want to go to school on Monday. He hung and killed himself. Oh, that, I heard that. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and it like broke my heart. But at the t same time, it allowed me to know uh, the whole meaning of putting my testimony in this song. And so the song, song started catching on like wildfire right now. It's in the top 10 on Billboard. Um, I've done a lot. I've done a lot of music. I, I, I've connected with a lot of people. I've I, I won Grammy Award. I, I produced with the Blind Boys of Alabama. Uh, my nephew played bass for Bruno Mars. Um, I grew up with some of the guys you guys probably don't know. But Casey and Jojo Jodeci. Uh, Drew Hill is from Baltimore. I've done a lot of stuff. Um, I died twice. I had open heart surgery and died twice. My parents had diabetes. Uh, my mom had high blood pressure. So doing music was like, Connor said, it was like that thing that like made me feel great. You know, I've been doing music all my life. When I was a little boy, I did not do a lot of things that the other kids did like play football and basketball. My mother and father protected me. Um, long, long story short, all of these other organizations have reached out to me. You know, after dying twice and having open heart surgery, 
the, the, the Heart Association, they reached out to me, but it just didn't pull on me enough to be a part of it. And after hearing this little kid seven story, um, and then my wife pulled up information about UOAA, I said, it's, nobody talking about this colostomy bag, nobody. I hear nothing about this, you know? And uh, she said, hey, here's an organization. And we were like, really? Nobody stopped. So we went to, we, we started talking because back home I take care, I, when, when uh, the contracts were big in music, I got into assistant living. I love people. I just love people. So we have uh, over 23 units in Maryland where we take care of seniors and elderly, mentally ill and all. So I said, wow, nobody's talking about this ostomy stuff. And she did the research and we contacted them and um, we said, we have to bring more awareness to this, you know. Um, I think it's a great cause. I think that people just need to know that there's hope, there's help out there, that yes, you can live, you know, you can make it through it. When I was a little kid, my parents shelter me. I, I thought, <laughs> you know, this was the end, like uh, Connor said. So when I see young guys like this, and now I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> But when I see young guys like this, it, it reminds me of me as, as a child. And I'm, I'm uh, very impressed that he found something that really makes him excited and that he wants to do. And that was me. My, my, my G.I. Joe men or my plan was pushing my mom's shoe boxes around the house with all of her makeup little boxes and all that. That was the speakers. and. We used to use Monopoly money as the promoter to get paid. <laughs> and we used to oh take the God. encyclopedia and tear up paper and lift the paper up and drop it down. That was the crowd howling and screaming. And we would take the shoe boxes and my brothers and I, we would push them around the house and go from concert to concert. Hey, we at Carnegie Hall tonight, you know? So that was my plan. But I remember so many times sitting at the window pane just watching my brothers play basketball and football and falling and every time I would try to go out and, and play and all that my mom was ah, you can't go out there. You know, and I didn't know what this this back how sick I really really was. I had about six or seven different operations um, in the African American world, especially the Baptist church. <laughs> my my mom and, and grandma, they believe in the power of prayer. You know, that's all we had. I was the only survivor out of my family, out of 30 grandkids. I was the only one not knocking what anyone do or what have you. But wasn't a gangbanger, wasn't a drug addict, or wasn't a drunk or what have you. My, the the, the, the uh, TV series, The Wire, that comes on TV, that was written about my family, uh, the box wow. girls. So I was the only survivor, and it was sort of kind of like my, my grandma said I was always covered. I just, certain things I just didn't get into, I just didn't do, and you guys watch the news, that's amazing for a young um, kid this, this day and age, you know, to not get in the, the jail stuff and, and all that's going on. So I'm just so, so delighted to be a part. I'm just so delighted. I mean, we've been to, uh, when I seen uh, the team the last time when they, they were setting all this up, we had did 22 cities across the country uh, radio and TV and concerts, just bringing more awareness to UOAA and about the ostomy uh, move. Since that time, we have, we have done uh, about 36 more regions. Uh, since that time, we uh, I was at a concert last night and I mean mess up the name, Hitchikit, New Jersey, or some part of New Jersey. Um, the lady walked up to me, she says, hey, I just seen you on TV uh, Sunday, and my mom seen you Saturday. I did not know I was going to see you here. And I'm, I'm grateful that you that you said something about the ostomy. I'm a nurse on uh, at a hospital, and I need some help, and, I'm, and I have pamphlets, and I'm passing out. I'm letting people know because there's so many stories out there, and it's amazing how your, your, your story or your situation can happen today and touch someone's life 20 years from now. And I always say you're either about to go in a storm or you are in a storm or coming out of a storm. Whatever your storm 
may be. But one thing I know that uh, from getting educated through UOAA and, and learning more about OSME, we can live through it. You know, we definitely, you just have to have the hope and the courage and to keep fighting and to keep uh, pushing. So, I don't drive race cars, <laughs> I kinda, but I, I write I write music and, and, and some of the songs, this song was number one when I uh, went through it. It's just like someone's talking to me. The song says, I won't be defeated, oh no, I won't give up now, cause I come too far to let my problems get me down. You know, those are words that comes to me. So whatever your problems are, or, or whatever your situation may be, you know, uh, just don't be defeated, you know? And then um, I have a new song, like I said, it's, it's in the top 10, and it's called, It Will Be All Right, It Will Be All Right, God's Gonna Turn Things Around For Me. It Will Be All Right, It Will Be All Right, You Just Wait and you see. Now, the reason why I wrote the last part, you just wait and see, because all the people that are doubting us, you know, that's saying, hey, you can't do this, and you can't do that. If they just wait a while, yeah. they will see yeah. that we're going to still be here, we're going to continue to do what we do, and we're going to see them at the top. Yeah. So I love you guys. I um, appreciate what you guys are doing, and bringing more and more um, awareness to this, I think is very, very I met a guy in uh, I'm so many places I might call the wrong city, but I, I met a I met a guy. I want to say Columbus, Georgia. He was a manager of a store, and he went to make a drop at the bank, and some guys uh, seen him, and they shot him up. Um, and he came to my concert. He didn't even know that he was going to run into. He came to my. He said he had to see me. I brought him behind stage to find out that he had two pouches from getting uh, shot. And he just cried and we talked. I met another guy in Nashville, a family, uh, where they said, if, hey, if my son, the father talked to the son, the mom, the brother, the sister, and the son was going to go for an ostomy operation and he refused to have it. And, they, and I sit and spoke to him at the table and he died. I, I sit and talk to him and tell you, the father said, had I met you and knew that all of this information was out there and that had you had came to speak to my son, he would still be living, I believe. So it's good to spread the word. It's good to get the information out there. Um, and you never know. We all have smiles on our face. We all look great. I'm looking at you guys today. Make up on look good. <laughs> My friend Tommy over here, he got his tile, he looks real cool. But a lot of time we have those sad moments when we're alone. We have those up times, those down times. But just just continue to to make the best out of life because there's people, there are people that don't have ostomy that are going through so many other things, you know. But we have to be in a great encouragement to each other and to push each other. Because if you can make it to the next day, guess what? You can make it to the next day. And you can make it to the next day. And that's just what uh, I, I believe. Uh, so I want everybody, I want everybody to look at your neighbor, say, neighbor. Neighbor. That's, have you ever been to church? That's what they do in church. <laughs> hey, neighbor. Yeah. It will be all right. It's going to be all right. Yeah, there, are, there are some other great singers in here, right? right? Are there other great singers in here? <laughs> say, it will be all right. It will be all right. All right. Love you guys. awesome lead-in. Thank you. So thank you for that wonderful lead into our phoenix. So what the phoenix does is it rises from the ashes, whether the ashes be a wound, a pain, a sadness, a grief, that hand in hand, we're gonna do this. We're gonna rise above and we're gonna keep moving forward. So thank you all for being here. That's our art project for today. Thank you, Lauren, for doing our art. Hey everybody, I'm Damon Little, and I'm here, oh man, at this convention with UOAA. I'm telling you, um, I'm enjoying myself just fellowshipping and uh, getting information, and you guys need to go to ostomy.org, ostomy.org. 
to get more information uh, on UOAA.